Welcome to another Dragonair Silent Gods video. This right here is a brand new free to play account that I started yesterday. In today's video, guys, we're going to discuss about tips that will elevate your gameplay when you start playing Dragonair Silent Gods. Uh, I do want to share with you all of the active promo codes that we currently have on, by the way, guys, because that will get you in some juicy juicy rewards uh, when you start a new account of course and i do want to mention this video is sponsored by dragoner silent god so big shout out to them for continuing to support the channel and the content if you guys want to join in with a new account or you want to help and support the channel or maybe you've never played dragoner silent gods before you can download the game by using my link in the description down below or in the pinned comments or by scanning the QR code you see on the screen. But without further ado, let me just quickly share all of the active promo codes with you guys. Then we're going to dive straight into the guide. Heading over for the promo codes. So if you go to settings, you go to service. So Dragoner Season 3, let's see what rewards we're getting from uh, everything, you know. So we got that. Then we got Dragon PC. We got that. Then we got Dragon yt 100k maybe the one for uh discord is still working as well yet discord 200k that's on maybe maybe i copied one at the end as well yeah i did okay there we go and then we have dragoner s3 with uppercase so these are all different and uh let's see what we got from here five promo codes we got Starlight Dice. We got uh, some... Uh... Oh, look at that. Wire Marrow. We got Helia Light. We got a Legendary Scroll. Beautiful. I'll take that. Then we got 350 Wire Marrow. I'll take that too. Uh, more Wire Marrow. More Starlight. We got some Rare Scrolls. Another, uh, another Helia Light with Starlight. I'll take that too. So now that you've seen all of the active promo codes that can get you some juicy, juicy rewards, let me just quickly share my server with you guys if you want to come and join me in. Uh, I've done a live stream yesterday where I kind of like explained uh, how the whole free-to-play account is going to work, what are my plans with it and stuff. So if you guys want to join us in, uh, we are on Windspur Forest 4. That's the server where we are playing. And yes, this is in season one guys basically we're gonna start over and we're gonna go full free to play and see what we can achieve in a uh, dragon air silent gods now i do want to kind of like mention a couple of things as well so they do have a bit of a catch up mechanic when you start playing the game because if the server was created a few days before you started playing uh, all this will give you a lot of journey xp when uh, when you're doing it you know and it feels like they're pushing your level a bit faster or at least uh, at least it felt like it. Maybe I just remembering. Uh, maybe I'm just remembering this uh, this wrong. Now another reason why I started a brand new account now, guys, is because if you reach level three till the tenth of May, they will send us 100 free Starlight summons, and they will start sending this uh, the second batch uh, starting from the eleventh of May. So in like five six days, probably I'm gonna get a hundred summons. Looking forward to uh, get something nice from it. I already have some Heliolite dice. I have some Wire Marrow saved up. My main plan so far, and this is the tip number one, guys. I'm planning to save them for the Dungeons & Dragons collaboration phase 3. That will probably start in around 3 weeks. So that's the main reason why I'm saving my, uh, my summons. Now, I'm not going to save everything, okay? I will try to get a few heroes if I feel comfortable with the team that i'm creating just from starlight dice i won't open any helia light whatsoever if i feel like i need something extra i'm gonna try my luck hopefully it's going to to work out now the starlight summons guys actually have a chance to drop legendaries okay you have a three percent chance to summon an epic you have a mercy but let me just quickly open what i have i'm gonna show you what i summoned so far uh, uh yesterday on stream i haven't really opened anything since so we got a common uh Oh, we got Meredith. She's actually an awesome, awesome healer. I was going to say, I don't really need any commons, but she's the only common that I would recommend anyone to use. She's actually pretty good as a healer, you know? <laughs> there we go. As a as a surprise, guys. As a surprise to, to start with, uh, with a dope one, you know? Okay, we got two rares. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Not uh, not too bad. So we got uh, uh, we got him. Can be a pretty, a pretty good cleanser. I'm definitely going to need something like that. And we got a G-Gel. Uh, not too shabby, not too shabby. Can we get a good epic, though? 
I really need a block debuffs or a healing. Two epics and a rare. Ooh, <laughs> we got Irina. We got Irina, which is going to be massive. Awesome, awesome stuff. Uh, he's not that great as an epic champion. Uh, he might be helpful early on because of the resistance and stuff. And then we got her from the Radiance. I forgot her name because I haven't used her in a while. She can be pretty nice. So for the moment, it seems like the game is pushing me towards... Um, Lightning and Radiance, which is not a bad thing whatsoever. It's not a bad thing whatsoever. So we have 10 more summons. Damn, a double epic to start with. A double epic. Oh, and another one. Let's go. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Jackpot, ladies and gentlemen. We got a soul day. We got a decreased attack. We got the shield. We have the small version of increased defense. She's going to fit so nice in my fire and poison team. By the way, I summoned... Tonal Nun yesterday, guys. The epic hero that deals crazy damage. We got a Usha. Amazing, uh, amazing damage from that rare character. Uh, an Ice hero. Uh, you do need somebody to apply Frost for her. But hey, that's going to work just fine. And we got a pretty good uh, summoner as well. I'm not really a big fan of uh, of them at, uh, at the moment. Especially in Season 1. And if you don't have any of the big boy characters. But here we are. So... Open all of your Starlight Dice. Just go ham, open them. You need to start building your core team. If you want to save all of your dice, you're not going to get anywhere, okay? So, for the moment, I feel like I've got pretty lucky with uh, with my summons. I have uh, five epics. I summoned four. One of them is for free. Do not invest in this character. He completely sucks, okay? So, do not, uh, do not invest in him. I'm definitely going to be super, uh, super solid with these two characters together. Then I have a, a good healer right here. Uh, in Season 1, the Elemental Affinity is the following. Poison and Fire, uh, Necro and uh, Ice. And we have Lightning and Radiance. And I'm not looking too bad either for uh, Lightning and Radiance as well. I got, I got an attack down. I have a healer. I have a, a good damage dealer as well. So for the moment, we are looking pretty, pretty good. Now, the very first uh, thing that you guys got to... Uh, focus on so at the moment i'm not gated by any content you will encounter uh, a part in the game where you're not going to be able to move till the next day you're going to have it right here on the left side with uh, red letters telling you to uh, do this quest but you won't be able to do it just because you are gated by content okay so you're going to have to wait till the next day either to get new new commissions or the very first thing that you guys need to make sure you're doing is focus on your journal and try to push as many chapters as possible. Uh, I haven't really done many of them just yet, but this is my next priority from here on uh, because I was still unlocking the map, right? And uh, I still have a few different things that I got to I gotta get sorted. I'm not too stressed about it. And I cannot really remember exactly uh, from when I was doing season one uh, the first time if... Uh, all of the content opens gradually, but it seems like most of these things will be unlocked for me from now. So I feel like it's kind of like a mini catch-up mechanic if you start on the server a few days uh, later, so everything will be unlocked. I do wish that they will basically uh, give us uh, give us some extra stamina to catch up with the, with the rest. That would be a nice, uh, a nice touch. Now, prioritize, of course, your core team. So based on whatever you guys summoned, decide on what characters you're building to create a core team. Now, I know you do get extra stats from 5 hero elemental affinity. It's not a necessity to do that early on. You can focus on 3 man elemental affinity and just get the job done. So for me, at the moment, I'm going to have 1, 2, 3. While I do have a couple of awesome epics that are going to be very, very impactful, I don't have scrolls for them at the moment. I don't have the rare scrolls either, you know, but I'm going to get them later on and... The thing with them is that uh, they might not fit as good in the team. So tomorrow, I am getting my uh, uh, free epic tank, right? So on day three, we're getting Horus, which is going to be a bit more helpful than Isolde for the moment in some content. So I'm going to invest in him first. Uh, do not spread your resources around. It might seem like super easy to just level up characters uh, with what you farm from the goblin. Don't build a thousand uh, a thousand characters it doesn't really matter anyway at the beginning because you have one thing that needs to be exploited so if you go at events you have the clepsydra torrent event make sure you guys are constantly using this so if you are not playing free to play and you summoned a lot of characters and you're trying to swap teams around 
this right here will be on for six days and 12 hours after you started your account so you will basically have a lot of flexibility in what characters and what teams you're using so make sure you reset them is free and you're getting all of the resources materials gear back except scrolls so if you invested scrolls in them uh keep in mind you won't be able to get that done then moving over to the psychic or part of the game you're gonna have a, uh, a few different things that are upgradable in here starting with attributes so right here there are a couple of things that you kind of like want to prioritize uh, intellect will basically increase the amount of food that you are doing at the camp you know that's helpful uh it's definitely a pretty good thing to have especially early on if you don't want to waste your gold to purchase consumables from the from the vendors then wisdom and charisma will basically help you to uh, discover things on the map will help you to lie to people when they catch you stealing you know so invest some of your points into into them as well uh because it will be pretty helpful especially if you are are being caught stealing you know so i'm gonna put my other two points in a char charisma and that will be very helpful now with the elemental affinity once you start unlocking this right don't go crazy to do it for all of your characters if you decided that your main team is going to be fire and poison you want to prioritize that you don't want to just spread everything around so you're gonna do this then you have access to move to the to the next ones right just go fire and poison okay we're gonna do this then in order to get to this one you're gonna need to upgrade nine or ten of these ones go and look for the, ne uh, the next one let's get some hp on my fire and poison so skip the other four because you don't need them yet you're gonna have time later on to to do it after your core team is uh is sorted once you get to around this part then you can actually look to invest in uh in the rest so once you get to tier uh, tier five basically you know pretty important the identity doesn't really mean much guys so don't really stress about it you know i i always speak uh archaeologist uh, a bit bad at solving puzzles and investigating you know uh, i'm getting more wisdom and intelligence then uh the elemental power keep in mind on your main character you can actually swap in between right so you can swap in between lightning frost and uh fire now let me give you a quick tip in here let's just say your main team is fire and poison and you want to build this character up but when you are going to do the fire domain you're going to struggle because you cannot use fire versus fire right uh, they are at disadvantage basically when you are trying to go with fire and poison on the flame domain because that's the elemental affinity this season you're going to uh, take uh, more damage from the enemies you're going to deal less damage to them so they will pretty much kick your butt so what you can do you can basically go and do uh the ice domain for example and then come to your main character and uh, once you're here at switch elements switch to ice and then you're gonna be able to just quickly boost the the upgrade from here you know so when you're gonna have to upgrade uh you're going to be able to use the materials from the ice domain so that's a quick tip for uh, for you guys the next thing that i would strongly suggest you to do early on make sure you guys are looking for an alliance now i've been looking for one uh i don't seem to find many many on the server at the moment i cannot expect to be in one of the very top ones okay because a lot of these players probably are uh, a bit stronger but still i'm gonna try to apply and join uh in most of them as long as as long as they are free free spots i'm gonna try to to apply you know and this will overall uh give you rewards you're gonna get access to the temporal vortex and then you're gonna get wire marrow from there too which is actually going to slowly just add up on top of your uh, your resources in terms of events i don't i don't want to make you guys aware so right here you have uh, a lot of upcoming events in terms of summoning banners each one of these banner will have a different mercy so if you're uh, deciding to start uh, uh, summoning five dice here five dice there you might never get a legendary character so that's the whole idea so this is the only banner that carries the mercy throughout the season so if i'm uh, 30 summons in here without a legendary and season two is coming uh, uh coming tomorrow tomorrow i can go in open five summons and I'm guaranteed a legendary hero because the birth, uh, the mercy continues now in between all of these banners that are time limited and they're swapping around they have a 35 mercy as well 
but it doesn't continue from banner to banner. Each banner has an individual mercy. So if you open five on this, five on the next, 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 five on the next and you uh, are not accumulating a mercy, you're not going to get a legendary hero. And I know a lot of people are doing this mistake. So I just wanted to make you guys uh, aware of it. You know, don't... Uh, don't spread your resources too thin. Now, another quick tip with the gear. Uh, till you get to level 70 and higher than that, flat stat pieces are actually better than percentage. So with confidence, feel free to invest in them because you are getting more value. So let me just see. I have a flat HP, right? And then if I'm leveling this up, hopefully we're not going to get flat HP on it. We got 887, you see? Even with that 887 that we got uh, as a bonus on it, I'm still getting less HP from the percentage than from the flat one. And that's because we don't have a high level at the moment and uh, our HP percentage is not really going to uh, accumulate as, uh, as good, you know? So it's better to go with flat, uh, flat pieces. I just wanted to share that, uh, that with you as well. Now, if you are summoning any epic dupes, guys, any rare dupes. Now, I already summoned some rare dupes personally, but you need 50 to get uh, to get a rare artifact. For the epic ones, it's going to be one dupe, one artifact. The very first priority as an artifact, it should be the following. You want to get the crown of the unclean to apply defense down. Then your next priority, honestly, is going to be something that gives you damage. Eyeball of the Giant is a very, very good one. Arcane Music Box is good if you are running characters that have shield. So try to prioritize some of the best artifacts. I have different videos on uh, top the top artifacts, tier list for the artifacts. So feel free to check that on, uh, on the channel if you want to find out more uh, specific information about, uh, about all these guys. And yeah, with your stamina as well, try to uh, farm a few stages on the Goblin. Don't just go and burn all of your stamina so right now i have 100 stamina i'm planning to move all the way to five but if i'm burning 100 stamina on stage three before i'm leveling up characters before i'm uh, upgrading gear and before i'm ranking them to a higher uh, higher tier i'm just going to waste that stamina on this stage because i'm doing the lower one but instead don't do it do one two three runs as many as you need to level up your characters to level 30 or 50 and then try to move up to the next stage and then burst a, uh, a bit of more stamina, try to do some upgrades and see if you can move to the next stage. So always do that. And the goblin will be your main priority. Don't uh, worry too much about building a team for the vortex yet or stuff like this, because the main thing is by the time this event ends right here, the Clips of the Torrent, you want to make sure you have a team, either five characters, six or seven, uh, the more the better, of course, but that will basically allow you to do the Goblin and hopefully to do the Grave of Venom once you have this unlocked. This will be the main dungeon that will consume your stamina throughout the season together with the Goblin, right? Because the damage gear comes from here, different sets, different substats, you want to get a perfect roll. And I would strongly suggest you don't burn all of your stamina that you're collecting before you are getting to the one month mark on the season because... That will basically uh, double the chances for uh, getting a legendary, uh, legendary gear, you know. So if you go right here, you're going to see when everything opens. So Pillar of Trial uh, opens in 11 days. Legendary Forge Materials drop rates increased in 25 days. That's when I want to go and farm the gear dungeons like crazy. So I'm, I'm, I'm still going to farm a bit till then, but just enough to be able to uh, have a decent team that can push on all on the highest possible stages, you know? And then I'm going to go to farm uh, gear. Now, how I mentioned, guys, I'm going to be completely free to play on this account. Uh, I will probably at some point in the near future make, uh, make uh, a poll on the channel to see if we purchase the epic chest that allows us to select a free epic hero. Whoever we want is basically 99 cents. I have 81 days to do so. So we have plenty of time to discuss this if we're doing it or no. Uh, I want to check with you guys as well to see kind of like what you think. But I'm not going to purchase anything whatsoever. I will have no content creator perks on here. So it's basically a 
fully free to play account. Now, another thing that kind of like uh, made me mention all this, I will not buy stamina with my wire marrow. So every now and then, if I feel like I need to, I might get the very first refill for 50 wire marrow, but I will never go more than that, no matter what. And you shouldn't do it either because how I mentioned, my main goal is to save all my resources for the next Dungeons and Dragons collaboration event. But guys, I feel like that uh, that would do for this uh, quick uh, quick beginner uh, tips video. You know, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you wanna join me on a a new account on a a new adventure, guys, this is the server right here, Winsper Forest Four. Now, thanks again to Dragonair for sponsoring today's video. And if you guys want to download Dragonair Silent Gods, you can click on my link in the description down below or in the pinned comment or scan the QR code you see on the screen. I'll catch you all in the next video. Much love. Peace.